What's poppin' peasants? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem 3 Book 1. And in the last episode, we began this godforsaken chapter and managed to make it through, actually. Um, I actually stopped recording halfway through, well, after finishing the last episode, so I kind of can't remember what actually was going on. But, we, okay, we've visited the village, I believe. We've got the Thor on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Doga's just basically dealing with these archers. He's just throwing javelins through the wall. He does slowly actually die, but, um... We've got reblows on our side, so we should be able to... Doga's gonna be fine there, he's literally just gonna clean up all these archers. Apart from maybe this one, actually. I'm gonna let this one come to me. I'm gonna let this one attack Linda. Because uh, Linda, Linda can take one hit, like, at least. Uh, so we're gonna use... Yeah, we'll just we'll just wait with the thunder. Uh, you're just gonna move down here, because I don't want you to get attacked. Now, I want to get rid of this sniper with the silver bow. Minerva's safe in the spot to the right, so she can actually take down the thief. He's got the silver card, which we obviously definitely want. But I'm still going to use the Parsha, I believe, to kill this guy. Now, this guy's a silver bow, so I'm pretty sure he will two-shot me. Um, and I'm pretty sure I don't get doubled, so what I'm just going to do is just equip the Parsha and wait. I'm not actually going to attack on this turn. And then I'm just going to throw a javelin. Hope, well, I probably won't kill him, so I probably won't. Yeah, I won't double. He's too fast for Minerva. But <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with me today. I keep like, having to clear my throat. But yeah, I should be able to kill him on the next turn. Because I definitely obviously want that silver card. Um, and that is like a priority. Okay, so Julian's here to open the door. I want Ogma to be standing in the way. Uh, this bishop doesn't have anything to throw at me. So, I'm just going to move Sheeda actually over here, because Sheeda can't really do anything down here. But there are a bunch of Pegasus reinforcements, and they're actually kind of scary. So, oh, I didn't want to dismount, there we go. Uh, yeah, just keep that equipped and wait. And then Ogmas could come down here, he can deal with the hero pretty easily, I believe. And Navaj is here for moral support, I guess. Same with Pala. These guys are actually gonna run away, just because I can't reach the fort. And Medea's on one health, so I wanna get the fuck out of there. I don't think I need to heal anyone, I can heal Marth. But I can just get a Vulnerary out the convoy, so I don't think I need to do that necessarily. So... Actually, I, need to show, I should visit the shops. Really. Should have done that with Merrick. Uh, supply. Oh, there's nothing really of interest. I mean, we can get it on the silver sword, I guess. And uh, I think honestly, we should be fine. Like, I don't think we need anything else. I'm actually gonna store the Excalibur. I don't need that anymore. Though I could just give it back to Merrick. But I'm gonna take a Vulnerary out of the convoy and just use it just to save. Uh, Reblow use because I think Reblow is going to come in clutch here. I don't have many uses left. Like, I've got like, yeah, I've got two uses left. I need to conserve that. I need to make sure Lena's or Rena's not going to get attacked, which she won't. She's fine. Okay, so then you guys need to book it out of there. Is that just kind of scary? The, the, the fact that there's a fort there and Medea's on one health. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, there we go, there's the Pegasus reinforcements I was talking about. They are kind of scary, because they do continuously spawn. Well, for a while, I don't know when they actually stop. Ow. Oh, come on, really? Now he's going to get fucking healed by the bishop. Doga. Alright, yep. There's a thunder. There's another thunder. <laughs> Let's crit. Alright. I might just bait out the rest of the archers of Linda, to be honest, because... Why is that guy going? Um, Doga's not having an easy time taking care of them. Okay, yeah, I would definitely get two shot by this guy. So, it's a good job I didn't attack first. I have 100% hit, so I know I can safely kill him on my next turn, which is nice. He's gonna go for that chest. I did look it up, that chest has gold in it. Um, 
so it doesn't show up in the inventory, so yeah. It kind of looks like they haven't stolen anything when they actually have, if they've stolen gold. Well, I'm pretty sure at least, it says there's gold in that chest, but it just doesn't show up in the inventory. That did a lot of damage. I thought Shida was a little bit tankier than that, especially on Pegasus Knights. Well, they do have Steel Lancers, but... Okay, she dodged that one. Nice. I think she has a Vulnerary, so she... I don't think I need to heal. Okay. Oh, wow, the Bishop didn't heal then. Uh... Alright. Okay, that's an Archer down. Maybe I don't need to bait the other one out with Doga then. Might be fine. Might be fine. Let's shop. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything. No, I don't want it for Moth. I want it for the supply. Yes. Buy. Okay. The menus get a little bit confusing. I want to buy, actually... Why want another Thunder? Because we got kind of low. Oh, what? That, that's a Japanese text like glitching out. I want to buy another Live Staff, just because as well. Uh, obviously, apart from that, actually, yes, no, I want to buy another Vulnerary. The Vulneraries are always nice, and we're kind of low on them. So I'm going to buy a couple. Excuse me. They're cheap as well, so it's not too bad. I'm kind of reluctant to move down with Merrick just because there's going to be these reinforcements. I think I'm going to sit in the bush and pop a vulnerary. Uh, okay, so now it's time to execute this plan. You're going to open the door. You're going to wait. Do you have no hand axe or anything? So, yeah, you can go here. We can equip the silver sword and we can safely wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna move Linda down. I'm not, not gonna bother with that archer. Oh shit, she actually took damage. I completely forgot. For some reason I thought she dodged. That was kinda bad. Okay. So we have a 100% hit, so we won't miss. So I can take down this- okay then. Overkill George, but alright. Then there's a full level? Weapon level. Nice. You're really showing that I needed to use that fucking manual on you. Oh, would you actually target- okay, no, you won't target the level, so I can just throw another javelin. Actually, it might not be safe throw another javelin, so if I miss, he's gonna escape. So, I'm gonna use a more accurate weapon. Steel lance. And I'm pretty sure that the hero won't come and target me. Strength speed, nice. So we got the silver card. Could have gone shopping with the silver card, that probably would have been a better idea, but you know. Okay, so he can't target Minerva, so he's gonna go for Ogma. Ogma is on the brink of promotion as well, which is cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's just Gordon. It's just Gordon. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave Merrick there, because I'm kind of, yeah, I'm just afraid of the Pegasus Knights. Yeah, see, they're gonna spawn for the next few turns. And if they did that much damage to Shida, then God knows how much they would do to Merrick. I'd be very afraid. So Ogma can take this hero. He has enough defense. Okay. Oh, wow, nice. I don't double, but I got a crit. Look, weapon level, hit points. So, Ogma's level 10. So, on my next opportunity, I shall use a hero crest. Oh, I might actually move him out of the way and let someone else get the kill. Uh, that's probably better. I'll probably give it to Navar and then use the turn promoting Ogma. Alright, so that's level 12 for Shida. Just ha we haven't got a Lysian whip yet. Or whatever the promotion item is in this game for riders. Oh, that is a lot of damage that fucking Pegasus Knights do. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, there it is. I was on full health, so that's 18. So if I pop a vulnerable, she won't even survive if they spawn again. That is kind of scary, so I might actually just move out the way. But first, we're going to do what I said. Let's just check if Navarre can kill this guy. He has 6 health left and 10 defense. 
and what you can yeah you'll put the silver sword and one shot that guy all right so let us use the hero proof so this is the first promotion we've had in the game that was in ourselves and it's quite fitting it's Ogma because he's one of my favorite units in the game so there we go do do Hero, class change, strength, skill, speed, defense all up 2 points, and resistance up 3 points. That is pretty good. You know, we don't have resistance growth, we have no resistance at first. Now he has as much defense as Doga. That's insane. He has 11 defense, so he's like another armor knight. And he has like, more skill and speed than Navar. So, yeah, Ogma is looking pretty good right now. So, let's attack with the silver sword, we'll be able to finish this guy off easy. Some more experience for Navar. He's close. We don't even have another hero proof yet, so I'm not too worried about getting him up, you know, quick, you know, as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of moving Astrum down for the sake. But I don't really need to move Nadir anymore. See, so yeah, I'm actually gonna move. I'm gonna move Lin. Yeah, there's Bishop down there with nothing. So it's actually safe to move Julian out here as well. I don't want to conflict your animations. Oh, I can solo. I really just noticed this config part. I can, <laughs> I can turn off staff animations. Oh god, why did I not notice that? Okay, I need to use a Volmo. Stay the fuck out of the way. So you need to stay the hell out of the way. Then I can't actually move because I believe they spawn like on this bush, or is it here? So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, Pegasus have eight movement, right? Yeah. So eight. So you can only move like I'm just gonna move you down here. I don't feel safe moving you any closer. <laughs> right, so there's this one archer dude left. So I'm just sit in the bush and pop a vulnerable area real quick. It's gonna be a pain in the ass getting him off down here. I mean even though he has the boots now. I did use the boots, didn't I? Yeah, I did use the boots. Um, even though he has the boots now, it's still going to be a pain to get him all the way down to the throne, but I will make a quick cut away when we have to do so, so you, obviously you, do, you guys don't have to watch me walk for however many turns it takes. There's, yeah, the Pegasus Knights are still coming, so I'm probably going to send Marth around the long way, uh, around back where we began, because it's safer. Okay, so this is just experience for Doga, like, that's all it is right now. Oh wow, they're actually, well okay, one of them's coming over that way, I'm going to say, both of them came over that way, that would be scary, I actually kind of wish I, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your Excalibur out of the supply, because uh, you kind of need it right now, <laughs> uh, ooh, am I blind, where is it, where's my Excalibur, oh there we go, yeah, and then I'm going to trade, I would rather not risk, like, not one-shotting this Pegasus than, yeah, just get out, get out. <laughs> I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> Alright, and then Dogen get this kill. Nearly a level. What level is Dogen now? He is level 7, nearly 8. We're not far away from, um... We're not far away from General Dogen. I kind of want to get. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, I can get this kill with them though because they don't have ranged weapons. Yeah, this is safe. Not there. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I think I might be able to kill. Oh no, I can't. I'm just too lazy to check. I've been. Yeah, that was bad. Don't know why I didn't check. Eat. Okay. I mean, it's not experience for Navar. Ah, uh, you need a heal. Badly. Alright, there we go. And I'll just have Chia take care of his bishop. Oh, wait, she has to dismount. God damn it. Okay, I guess it's time for Hero Ogma to get his first kill. Ish. Oh, never mind, he got a crit. Still gets loads of experience, even though he's now promoted. That's kind of broken. Alright, give me my money. You've had oh, 5,000, that's nice. And the Vulnary as well, as a bonus. 
But there's that victory music. So we're close, we just gotta deal with the boss now, which I'll probably let Linda do, to be honest. Yeah, so I just need to dismount Cheetah and wait. I don't even have a sword. Okay, I do have a sword, but she's not really gonna do anything with it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so this chapter's pretty much done now. Oh, this little fucking riding. Oh, Navarro actually can get attacked. Oh, that's bad. Okay, dodged. I need doubles him anyway. Level 9, strength, speed, weapon level, hit points. That was a good level. That was a very decent level. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm going to send Marv around the long way because I would feel safer doing that. Because those Pegasus Knights can probably mess up Marv, like, real bad. Same with Merrick, actually. I may just leave Merrick here, to be honest. He's not going to get anything done more in this chapter. Uh, so I'll just quickly do this. Gordon can experience, got defense, wow. I mean, if I get Sniper Gordon, I get Sniper Gordon, but it's probably not going to happen at this rate. He's not been uh, significant enough. Oh wow, you're actually on low health. Actually no, you're fine. You can deal with them. I mean, you have a vulnerary anyway, so just use it. Do, do, do. Probably leave Navarre there just in case there are any more pieces of night reinforcements. Because <clears throat> he can easily take care of them. The Silver Sword. It's not like I'm wasting Silver Sword uses. I mean, Astrum comes with one. Marth just bought another one, so it's literally fine. Yeah, so we'll just kind of speed through this lap. Okay, yeah, they're still coming. Oh, that's a that's a lot of damage. Oh wow, those armor knights are kind of strong. Oh, and this one can attack. Oh, ow. Okay, let's hurry up. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just get out. Oh, that's a lot. That's not nice. I do not want to risk anything. I'm pretty sure Gordon doesn't... Well, Gordon doesn't die anyway, but he's safe here. Yeah, there we go. Aww. Okay, where's Pala? Pala needs to deal with this. Okay, there we go. Probably one of the only kills Pala will see. Well, she may actually get some more combat time. Yeah, silver fucking lances. That's not nice. Let's... How... Wait, do you have res? No. No, you don't have res. So... That's not what they're doing. I actually need to use L5 if I want to kill. Boom! Boom! I love the L5 animation. So close to a level, but she's going to get the boss kill most likely. Wow, that fucker did a lot of damage. Uh, what, will I stay here? Can you reach me? No, you can't reach me. So I actually, I actually have an armor killer, don't I? Fucking what? No! Menus! God damn, okay, yeah, I have an armor killer. Use a vulnerary. All good. I don't really, I mean, yeah, I'm just dismounting for the sake of it now. There's no point in moving anyone else apart from Marth already moved, so yeah, we're good here. Okay, no more reinforcement. Okay, no, they are. I, for whatever reason, I thought the reinforcement message came before the enemy phase thing. I don't know why, but yeah. Okay, so we can kill the boss pretty soon. I'm pretty sure if you kill the boss, then the reinforcements will stop. I, I'm guessing. Oh, because he killed him. I might actually be in trouble. Oh no, Navarre. Oh no, Navarre. Okay, it's fine. If he survived two hits. Level 10. Strength, speed, weapon level, resistance, hit points. That was a great level. Great, great level from Navarre. Navarre has wound up pretty good in the end. Look at that. He's got great stats on him now. Just need a hero proof. Uh, yeah, relive. Oh, bugger, wrong person. Okay, level 11 for Renner. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move you out of the way. And I'll move you in front. Oh, you got a vulnerary. That's kind of bad. Ooh, this. Wait, so. Yeah, she's gonna die. Gordon, however, won't actually die. I'm pretty sure. 
Because he took 9 damage from the last one. So I'm guessing Gordon will survive. Maybe. I'm hoping. Oh, I don't have any vulnerabilities left. Well, that's kind of shit. Okay, let's hope Lenda can cheese this boss. I mean, he probably has no resistance, so she probably can. Okay, I'll just bring Astrid in, just in case we need help. Move his moth. Yeah, okay. Pegasus again. Okay, let's hope Gordon survives. He only took 9 damage from the last one. He's actually going to take 8 from this one. So, yeah, he's fine. He can survive. Yeah, fucking me messing up with the menus. That's really stupid of me. Okay, I need to actually figure out a way to kill these guys now without dying. Uh, you have four health, so I'm actually, yeah, I need to definitely need to heal you. Because you are crucial of our taking out these guys. Yeah, this episode's gone longer than I thought. I thought I was going to have to make a cut to get Marth down, but... Oh shit, I just fucking... Uh, I just... That's bad. Yeah. Okay, how about, actually... No, it's fine. I trade... Color of Vulnerary. Gordon's gonna die. Actually, no, I can put Katri in the way. I think uh, Katri has enough uh, defense to survive. I think. Seven defense, she'll survive. Because that's nine and nine. And she'll, she has just enough hit points to survive. Yeah, that's a fucking mess. All for me messing up which person I targeted. Okay, does this guy have range? You know, he's a silver lance, he has three rares. Okay, so I'm literally fine just to wail at him with Elfire. Aritius Fallen Soldiers should have killed you all when I had the chance. Text bid plus. Oh, suck on that. Okay, well, that actually doesn't do that much damage. Around the scheme of things. But it's fine. Linda's level 4, skill, speed, luck, hit points. Get in there, Linda, we're getting there. I'm not gonna give Alvin the kill, he's had enough this level uh, this chapter and he's fucking promoted for God's sake. Okay, oh no, there is a reinforcement still. Oh you fucking you jammy bastard. Oh nice, dodge. Oh nice, kill. <laughs> See this catcher proves why she is good and should be used. I feel really crap that I'm not using her. But, like, there's just no reason to ever use her. As much as it sucks. Gordon's actually got a fair amount of experience on this chapter compared to what I thought he'd be getting. This boss now has basically full health, so I might actually need to come in with Ogma and deliver the goods. Or I could attack with Aura, which I think I'm gonna do. And this will definitely, yeah, this will kill him. Oh, animation is very cool. And... Death. Rip Geo, 75 experience, that's a lot. And we get a Silver Lance, that's great. The Kingdom of Gra is done for. My daughter, Shima, you must for me. I don't know who Shima is. Unless I'm just not remembering her very well. Okay, we can get Martha to throw on the next turn, so I don't need to make a cut. Alright, we are good. See, the, these Pegasus Knights are just endless. I could probably just farm experience off them, to be honest, if I really wanted to. La 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 Yeah, cool. Like, yeah, I could just sit here and farm Gordon experience really easily. I'm not gonna do that. As, as tempting as it is to get him to level 10, I actually have an Orient's Bolt set in the... Convoy. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna end this chapter. It's gone on long enough. Seize. Prince Moth, we searched the whole of the castle, but the divine falchion sword is nowhere to be found. It seems the rumours are true. It has already been taken away by Garneth. Really? But without the falchion, we cannot defeat Medioth. I'm sorry, everyone, but even though Ariti is so close now, we must go to Cardin. Oh god, it's. Oh no! 
Oh, I just remembered what map's next. If it means we're going to Carden, that no, means desert map. I'm pretty sure it's the map I'm thinking of. It might that might be the map from uh, book two, but I'm pretty sure this map's the desert map. So yeah, anyway. Thank you guys for watching, this ends this episode, I uh, will, yeah, I know I've been not uploading as frequently uh, recently, I've just been a lot busier, but I'm trying to get back on the, uh, the more frequent uploads for this, so yeah, we'll be doing chapter 12 in the next episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem 3 Book 1, thank you very much for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time, goodbye.